what's up y'all it's another uh, early one as you can see it's 508 and I'm packing up the truck and I'm headed to go pick up my friend so we can take the raft out down the river for some spawning white bass or at least hopefully that's the plan I haven't fished this um, place ever so yeah like I said hopefully we can get on some fish and have a good time but I'm gonna go pick him up here in a few minutes and I'll see you when we when I pick them up. All right, so we just got to the ramp behind us. The first few spots we tried out that we wanted to use um, ended up not working out. So anyways, we're at this big boat ramp behind me. The creek's really big at this point, but the plan is to get the raft loaded up and then go as high as we can up the creek and then float back, see if we can't get some white bass. So yeah, see you on the water. Got the boat in the water. Let me go see if we can catch some white bass or crappie. First fish of the day, nice little largey. Uh, we went up this small little creek, as you can see, and like Good second or third right cast, away. there we go, on the underspin, so, sweet. I bet you no boats like, ever come up here. And the only way to get to the spot is by boat, so. Unless pastures over there. I guess. Does it end up here, do you think? I'd say there's crappie in there. All right, I'm gonna pick up the uh, underspin. Just see if I can't move something. It's a little too close in here with two people to fly fish, so just throw the underspin around and see what happens. Oh, the line is tangled up a little bit. It's gonna be a tough one to get out of. Nice. That was not a bad fish either. That wasn't, that wasn't quite a dink. It's a little update here. Um, it's rough. Worst, rough, roughest day fishing of my life. Um, we paddled about, I don't know, two miles, or we used the trolling motor, got up there about two miles up the creek, and we were making pretty good timing, and then we are like, man, why is the trolling motor going so slow? And we realized there was fishing line all tangled up in it. So, tro trolling motor's decommissioned, and now we're just paddling back up. Um, we're not even halfway there yet, so probably another hour paddle. And then we're gonna call it a day. So hope y'all have a better day out fishing than we do. All right, so we're just rowing back downstream. No lie, like two or three miles an hour. So it's gonna be a long one. Um, tried out the new sunglasses from Foldies. Really like them, pretty cool. They fold up and stuff. So if you wanna check them out, uh, click the link in the description. I'll leave an affiliate link in there that'll Help me out as well, and uh, yeah. All right, so we just got the boat all loaded up, and uh, that was a rough day of fishing, can't lie. Um, we caught, or Cooper caught one fish, we caught a bass, and then the motor broke, everything started going wrong. When I got back to the car, I snapped my fly rod, so just a great day of fishing, you know? But it's all right, everyone has these time types of days, um, I don't know if I'll post this, but I guess if you're seeing this, I did. And yeah, tight lines, everybody. Hope you have better luck than we did today. All right, so what's up, everyone? Um, as you could probably see in the video, this morning was really rough. Ended up breaking a fly rod. Our trolling motor got tangled up in fishing line. Um, I was able to get that fixed, but still just a really rough morning. We couldn't get to the part in the creek that we wanted to fish up higher where the white bass were supposedly and so we only got about two miles up and only caught that one little bass up a small feeder creek. But anyways, an attempt to make a video because I'm gonna try to be getting out videos weekly. Um, I got a word from my friend that the catfish were feeding at a local pond and he was catching them on. 
uh, bread. So I'm gonna go down there and see if I can't pick up a few on the fly. I've done it before and when you can get into them, it's a ton of fun. So I, these following clips will be of me fly fishing for catfish. So here we go. I'll see you when we get to the pond. I don't know. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh my. Oh my. Here we go. Here we go. There he goes, now he's running. Sure my GoPro, yep, it's going. Come on, don't do that. I got six pound line on, so I have to be somewhat careful. Not too, like I'm not, it's not too much of a concern, but still gotta be somewhat careful. That's a big cat. That is a big cat. Come on. There we go, now he's mine. He's in the shallows. Uh, not as big as the last one. Probably about the same size. Let's get him in here. He just spit up a Senko. Oh. oh my gosh. Let's go. Let's go. It's all wrapped up in my fishing line, but there we go. Right like that. There we go. Another one. Oh my. This might be the biggest one of the night. Oh. Here we go. That catfish just completely bent out my hook. So I'm gonna retie and see if I can't get some more. Sorry, I'm solo filming today, so it's kind of rough. But anyways, see if I can't get some more. There we go, don't come off. Come on, come on, come on, don't come off. I want this one. Come on, come on, come on, don't come off. I'm trying to keep my rod tip high because I don't know how good of a hook I have in this guy. He does not want to come in. Come on now. Come on. Come on, come on, come on.
There we go. There we go. All right, so if you made it this far in the video, I just wanna say a big thank you to you. Um, I'm really trying to grow my YouTube and it really helps when you guys watch the video all the way through and like and comment and subscribe and do all those things. And I know this wasn't the best video, but like I said, I'm just trying to grow it. And so I'm gonna be pushing out content like every week, no matter how good or bad. For example, this video, it was a bad day of fishing in the morning. And then when I went out in the evening, I wasn't expecting to film a video. And so I was like filming solo and forgot the tripod and all sorts of things. But anyways, I'm just gonna just try to put out as much content as possible. And for those of y'all that watched this all the way through, I just wanna say a big thank you to you and hope y'all go catch them in tight lines.